I think she was left between a rock and a hard place because she's basically a Remainer. And because there's been subversive activity from anybody from Tony Blair to Gina Miller, she's had to have a rethink because she can't even get her legislation through the House of Lords. And she reluctantly said, look, you've messed me around, so I need to call a general election. And I think it is the right strategy because, though I don't think she'll win by a landslide, I think she'll win with a very workable majority, and in which case she will be in a position uh, to deliver Brexit, not comfortably or easily, but she'll be able to do it. What I think the win for the Conservatives is straightforward, um, that we will continue to see growth in this country, that um, we will uh, be very happy to see the FTSE 250 push on, because I believe that the order books are pretty solid, that the export book is more solid than it's been for some time, that we've still got a very good service sector here, and I don't see any legislative plan for taxation despite the threats of various levels of taxation coming in. I doubt that that's going to be the case for two or three years apart from a little bit of nip and tuck here. Whereas dear Jeremy Corbyn, whereby, whereby I'm very comfortable that he's a very decent person, um, he is a romantic and his party is totally unrealistic in towards uh, how this country should be run. And they have shown the public, in my opinion, absolutely no idea or the slightest aptitude of how to run this country economically. And they would be an unmitigated disaster. And even though I'm on my pension, I'd be very quick to look at the left-hand side of the quote, cautiously. Um, I think it's, it can be taken as read that there will be a conservative victory. But I think the margin is why you have to be cautious. Um, I believe that it won't be a landslide um, because I think seven weeks is a ludicrous period of time for an election campaign. You can slip on so many banana skins. And three weeks, which is the mandatory time, is what I would have called. I would have called it after the French election on the 8th of May. And she would have had plenty of time to had it by the 8th of June. But you've, the, the, the fundamentals in the UK are still OK. But I wouldn't be selecting another gear to back the truck up and fill it up with stock at these le levels, which are currently very frothy. I don't see it as a sell-off. I see it as an adjustment against the value of sterling. Sterling you know, has valued by the best part of uh, uh, 4%. So the fact that the FTSE 100 has come down 4%, I think you have your answer. Whether there are any bargains there, there are any bargains there on the basis that people think that the companies that they want to invest in represent and offer very good value. I don't think it will have any particular material effect. In fact, I wish people wouldn't look at the FTSE 100 in the next few weeks unless there is some geopolitical problem elsewhere in the world for the simple reason it's a foreign exchange play. If the uh, sterling is valued uh, upwards by 4% and the market has come down by 4%, there you have your answer. Um, I'd rather people look to the FTSE 250, which uh, is at record values, and I think we'll be going through that record level in the next few weeks.